Hey guys, you give me here and today I will be teaching you how to make a sliding door in Rec Room. So this is any sliding door basically, uh, you can use it for anything, you can use it for PVPs, uh, quests, whichever you would like. So first of all, you need to make a room, uh, you, can do it in your, um, you can do it in your dorm room or any other room that you have mega pen uh, permissions, but I would just prefer to do it in your own room. So open up your watch, select create. Select base rooms and you can choose any template here. There's five different sections, but I just like to select the maker room. So go ahead and select that. Enter a name. Uh, I'll just choose sliding door YouTube. Create. And that will take us straight to the room. So here you are. In the maker room, you don't actually need an open space, but I like to have an open space because it's better to build. So open up. If you don't have your maker pen uh, favorited, which if you have a favorited, you can just pull it from your back. Open up your watch, select backpack, and go maker pen use. To favorite it, you can just do favorite, and you can unfavorited. So when you favorite it, you can just pull it from your back, as I said before. So yeah, you don't actually have to clear out everything, but um, I would pr I prefer that because it's easier. Uh, with no walls or anything, you can just build whatever you want. So open up your maker pen, select create. I mean delete, not create. <laughs> delete all of these walls and the roof. So yeah, now that you've got those out of the way, you would like to move this and those. So to move um, this, you just select move on your maker pen and just move them. Over to there. And to select multiple items um, to move, just open up your maker pen. Select select. Select all three of these things or whichever you would like to move. And open up your maker pen again. Open up your maker pen again and select move. So now you can just move all three of these at the same time. So yeah, now that we have everything cleared, open up your maker pen, select create, and we are going to create the two uh, walls on either side of the door. So open up your maker pen and select create. Uh, shapes you'd like to select cube, and you can select any material here. Um, I prefer the cardboard because I'm just doing a tutorial, but you guys can flick through that and see which one you would like. Uh, and yeah, so after you've picked the material, then you go to colors and you can select whichever whichever color you would like. So I'll just like to select this. And yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Also, easier, also, yeah, just draw a cube. Also, the easier way to uh, make it all lined up and everything is um, to open up your mega pen, select snapping to grid and check these two. So that way, when you rotate it or anything, um, it just like, it just does it so it's not like all, uh, weird like it aligns it to edges so there we go we can just do it like that and after you've done that just go done editing manipulate select the cube and make it as tall as you would like so i'll probably make it because i'm sitting down i don't want it too tall but i will make it about that tall and yeah after that you can just clone it so open up your maker pen select clone and yeah select this and you can just how far would you like the door you can just do it whatever you want but i'll like to do it here that is how far um, the door is going to be. So I just want a small door, so I'm just going to do it to there. And after that, just select done editing and freeze both of them so nobody can grab them in game. After that, you'd like to open up your paper pen, select create, and now you're going to make the door. So select shapes, cubes, and do whichever color and material you'd like. I'm just going to do material cardboard and color black. Is that black? Yes, it is. So now I'm just going to draw a cube. It doesn't have to perfectly be in line, but you would like it to be so like to do move and select that and like do it in line now you would just like to go manipulate and manipulate the door um up to these sides so it fills up the whole space and there we go there's our door so after that you would like to just select done editing and select create now you would like to select uh you would like to create an animation gizmo uh first of all select gadgets gizmos and animation gizmo now create that whichever whichever um you can do it wherever you want but i would just like to do it here because that's the easiest way and open up your watch select wire and wire your your wall um your door and wire it to the top of the animation gizmo this bit not any other part just the top bit object added to animation that's what it will say um after you've done that so that basically means whatever thing you do in the animation gizmo and that is what will happen to the door because it's already added. So open up your maker pen, select configure, configure the animation gizmo. Playback mode, loop, stop at end, select that definitely. Speed percentage, you can change that later on. Um, is grabbable? No. And now you would like to select edit on your maker pen, select the animation gizmo, open up your maker pen, 
and go add. So this is adding an animation. You would like to move this up so the door opens because this is a vertical door that goes up. So yeah, that is your animation. When you press something that triggers it, it will go up. So that opens the door. So after that, just go done editing and there's your one um, animation. So after this, you'd like to open up your makebench, like create. You'd like to select another animation gizmo, gadgets, gizmos, animation gizmo. And you'd like to create that right here if you'd like. I don't mind where you do it. But yeah, um, so this is, that is the animation gizmo to make it open. And this one is the animation gizmo to make it close. So after you do that, you would just like to wire this to the top of your animation gizmo again. Object adds animation. Yep, that's all good. Select edit on your maker pen and edit the animation gizmo. Open up your watch, um, I mean your maker pen and select add and you'd like to move that all the way back down here because that is closing, isn't it? Yep. So uh, after that, select done editing on your Mega Pen. Then select configure and configure your animation gizmo. Stop at end. Yes. Speed percentage 100. That's normal. Um, is grabbable? No. So after this, you want to select some. You want to create something that will trigger the door to go up and down. So open up your Mega Pen. Select create and go into props, dynamic, and you'd like to select this toggle button right here. So select that, and I would like to have my toggle button on this side. That's moving really weird, I don't know why it does that. Uh, I'll just have it there for now. After that, select um, configure, and configure the button. Um, you don't really need to mess around with this too much. I just like to do is grabable no, so nobody can grab it in game. So after that, you'd like to wire, you'd like to select your wire tool on your mega pen. Select um, when button is toggled on. Open the door, and do it up to this zero, don't do it anywhere else, just do it up to this zero. So when you do this, see how it's off? When you do it on, it will go up. So that means when you select, when the door is on, that means it will open. So, cause in PVPs, you'd usually like to have a closed starting point, wouldn't you? So yeah, after that, um, open up your mega pen, select wire again, and select when button is toggled off. Do it onto this, this one on the right, select, um, do it at this zero, nowhere else. So now, when you press it on, it goes up. When you press it off, it goes back down. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, after that, yeah, just um, configure the wall so it's not grabbable. And yeah, that's basically your door. Don't need to do much else with that. Um, in games, it might have a few um, glitches like, um, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, configure your wall so they're not grabbable. <laughs> got to do that. Oh, this one's already done. So yeah, it might have a few glitches, like it won't have glitches, but say in a game, it might be on, but it might be down here. Then you just have to press it like twice or something, but it's actually pretty good. Like it, it works basically perfectly fine. It's really good to have in our PVPs, quests, whichever one you would like. But yeah, um, this is how to do it vertically. Now I'll show you how to do it horizontally. So first of all, go out and you make a pen. And so you would actually like to just copy all this. So basically select this, select this, um, select this. Oh, that's already selected. And yeah, just select the move, oh no. Don't select the move tool, select clone. So now you'd like to clone it over here. And there we go, that's over there. Now you just like to go um, freeze it. Freeze all of that. Yep, that's frozen, that's all right. Um, and open up your Mega Pan, select Create, and go to Gadgets, Gizmos, and Animation Gizmo. Here we go. There we go, select one there, and yeah, configure that. Um, not grabbable, no, that's good. Um, stop at end, yes. Is grabbable? No. So now you'd like to open up your Mega Pan, press the wire tool, and wire this wall up to the top of your Animation Gizmo. Oop. Object is frozen, so you can't, you gotta unfreeze that before you can uh, edit it. So you go wire, select the door, and do it to your, do it to your um, animation gizmo. So now you'd like to select edit, edit the animation gizmo, open up your um, mega pen, select add, and move this so it slides this way. Now it's gonna slide that way. And now select done editing. Um, so now you'd like to create another one. So create. Uh, gadgets, animation gizmo, and pop that right there. So now you'd like to wire the door to the top of your animation gizmo, and there we go. Now you'd like to select edit, 
edit your animation gizmo, select add, and move this this way so it's back to normal. Is it back to normal? Yes, it is. Now you'd like to just select done editing, and now configure this. Um, stop at end. Yes. Um, is grabbable? No. And now you'd like to, uh, yeah. Oh, nope, you don't want to move that. Um, select configure on that. Is grabbable? No. Uh, we'll just freeze that. Yep, freeze all them. Oh, the door's moved a bit. Uh, if your door does that, I like to just go remove and go add. Make sure your door is in line with everything. So I'll have the door about there. All right, that's good. Now, done editing. And yeah, configure this, not grabbable. So yeah, now just freeze it. And open up your Mega Pen, go to um, Create, Open Palette, and select Props, Dynamic, and select the toggle button. So have your button, I'll just have it over here. Why is that doing that, that's weird. There we go. And yeah, so now we'd just like to wire this. So when button is toggled on to the zero, when button is toggled off, toggled off to the zero. And there you have it guys, we just need to go configure the button, select is grabbable, no. And yeah, chuck this away and it should work. Yep, open, close, open, close. So anyway guys, that is the video, that is how to, that is how to make a sliding door um, vertically and horizontally in Rec Room. I really hope this, this um, tutorial helped you out guys uh, with your quests or your PVPs. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, leave your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you so much for 270 subscribers. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.